welcome back to another Simon vlog. Um, these vlogs might be a little bit different from what you're used to, but um, it's just a way of producing more content for you guys. Um, hopefully you appreciate it. Um, and if you haven't already, you should check out Simon's channel in the description. Uh, he has a pretty, pretty awesome channel himself. Um, today, we're gonna do something a little bit different. Uh, I have never climbed with a weight vest in my videos before. Uh, today I'm gonna do that and the reason I haven't done it before is just because um, it can, I mean it's a little bit dangerous, it's easy to get injured, especially if not used to uh, training really hard. And usually I prefer training or getting on a harder problem instead of putting on a weight vest. But uh, today I'm gonna make an exception. So I'm gonna put on a little bit of weight um, and I'm gonna try to do laps on bowlers. So this is gonna be an endurance session. And this is kinda for those of you who maybe don't have like a good uh, lead climbing gym um, and you still wanna do some endurance or like power endurance. Oh, but I'm gonna get, I'm gonna be really, really tired and sore after this session. Uh, I haven't done this in a long time. I used to do this quite a lot when I was competing. Uh, but as you all know, I'm not competing anymore and I've gotten a little bit lazy and uh, I've stopped doing this stuff. But today I'm gonna do it. Um, I'm about to leave to the US and this kind of session makes me, makes me feel really good. I feel really fit afterwards and I think that's what I need now. So i um, not too excited. Before we do the weight vest training, I'm going to try a couple of bowlers here. I think I'm going to try the 7A plus and the 7B plus. I'm going to try to flash them. Look a little bit tricky. We'll see. That was okay, so now try the orange one. That looks harder. Okay, so it's time. I'm gonna do uh, five bowlers, and I'm gonna do each bowler three times. And uh, in this, I'd say it's around six, seven kilos. That's 10% of my body weight. Um, and usually, like, I don't recommend this for anyone who isn't like pretty experienced. The reason I do this is because I can get tired on uh, bigger holds. So it's more about upper arm than finger strength. Um, and I'll be like, my whole body will be exhausted. Um, so I'm probably going to aim at around the grade 6B plus, 6C, somewhere around there. And uh, I'm going to get really tired. I haven't done this in a long time. Okay, so the first bowler that I'm going to get on, maybe the purple, 6B, 6C plus. So I'll do this three times in a row. I'm allowed to chalk up on the ground, but nothing more. Uh, three times in a row with seven kilos extra, 10% of my body weight. I haven't done this in a long, long time. Even remember how you do this. Yeah. But you mentioned the risk of uh, getting an injury. While yeah. Doing this. Yeah. If you're not used to 
like if your fingers aren't strong enough, if your tendons aren't strong enough, uh, this is a very good way to get injured. Uh, so I don't recommend this, but at the same time, when I have more weight on me, I, I climb on bigger holds. So in that way, the risk is smaller, I guess, because uh, I don't use those tiny holes that I would normally use. Like now I'm climbing on a 60 plus, purple with big slopers. There's no break, high intensity. High intensity, and now I'll do like a five, six minute break for the next set. It's like when I do this type of training, I'm out of breath, and I normally never get out of breath climbing. So uh, I think it's good, it's like cardio climbing. Okay, so second uh, bowler, it looks... Yeah. Steeper? This is a lot steeper. Uh, it's a, it's an easier grade. This is only six eight plus, uh, but since it's steeper, like you can't put so much weight off of your legs, so it's gonna feel uh, a lot harder with this uh, weight vest. Um, yeah, just generally, the steeper it is, the more you're gonna feel the weight vest. That was a little bit too easy. Should step it up for the next one. Maybe even try the, the yellow 7A three times. That's gonna be really hard though. But uh, this one was too easy.
So you fell once. Yeah. So I just started it from where I fell. Because I have to do all the moves three times. But that was a lot harder. Oh, I get so out of breath. That was a good level. It's actually not 7A, it's 7A+. plus. So doing that three times in a row with seven kilos extra is pretty hard. <clears throat> is this something you think you're gonna do like on a regular basis? Climb yeah, the, I do this once in a while. I, I just like this type of training I never thought was interesting for the vlog, you know, because I just do the same bowler again and again. But uh, I've uh, learned that people like to see me suffer, so <laughs> maybe you'll enjoy this. Okay, so uh, let's go downstairs for the last two. Exhausted? Yeah, that one was not so bad because there are not so many moves. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six moves only. Like the longer the bowler is and the steeper it is, the harder it is with the extra weight. <sighs> but it feels really good. I mean, I haven't done this in so long. I should really do it more. I also used to uh, to climb with a lot of extra weight in the on uh, roots, but I haven't done that either in a long time. So really start doing that again it's like people will say that okay but you can just try something harder but if I try something harder the holes will get smaller and it'll be more about finger strength than upper body power so when I do this with extra weight I feel really out of breath and I feel like it's a di different type of training which is good sometimes I mean it's not good to always do it that way but once in a while I think it's it's good so in the last vlog you were uh, struggling with the endurance, you said. Yeah. Is this kind of training going to help with you successing on those routes? I think so, yeah. It will give me like capacity or like more, yeah, for sure. Like this is more endurance or power endurance, I guess. Uh, it's not really bouldering. And this type of training you can do like, because a lot of people don't have like a lead, good lead gym. But this type of training you can do just with a little boulder, boulder wall. Even some people have a bowling wall at home where they can do this type of training. So It's an easy setup. Easy, very easy setup. All you need is a weight vest and a bouldering wall. Okay, so there's uh, one set left. And then I think we'll do some power exercises to just end, end this session. Because I still will have a little bit of juice. And today I want to empty the tank completely. <laughs>
makes it so much harder when you fall because you have to climb up to that position again. And even though you use all the holds, oh, it's terrible. Oh. Feels good though. It's like a little bit more serious training. Oh. And you're gonna do even more strength uh, building uh, stuff now? Yeah, so usually I would do not five series, but like 10 series of this. So twice as much. But I did a little bit of bouldering before I started today and I'm gonna end with some uh, strength training. So uh, yeah, we can show the strength training actually. Do some lock-offs and stuff. Still feel like I have some juice left in the tank. So I'm gonna do some, uh, some lock-offs. And uh, I used to think that if I did 25 seconds on my right arm and 20 seconds on my left, I was in shape. Uh, so we'll see now if I can do 25 on my right and 20 on my left. It's a personal rule you have? Yeah, it's like a personal rule. Okay. If, I can, if I can't do that, I'm in bad shape. We'll see. We'll see. I can either, either I'll gain some confidence after this or I will lose some. Maybe we should put like a timer somewhere. Sure. Somewhere on the screen. I have to be sure uh, for this one. Pretty pale, probably. You're overexposed. It's, it's that time of year. Yeah, people think I'm overexposed, but it's not that. <laughs> okay, so now when it's 10 seconds, I'm going to start. I'm going to try to lock off in 90 degrees. Oh, that should be uh, should pleased? be more than 25 seconds actually. Yeah, it's better than I thought actually. Nice indication. Yeah, maybe I am getting back in shape. Just have a little break. Even though I only use my right arm, my left arm or my body is still tired, so I need to rest a little bit before doing my right, my left arm. But this, this is not really like training, this is more just like a test for myself to uh, gain some confidence. Well done. Yeah, uh, that should be 20 seconds. All you right. happy? You happy about the results? Yeah. Like you expected? It's better than I expected actually. Because I felt so weak, only like, felt weak a week ago. Uh, but uh, yeah, now it feels better. It's good. Because uh, I'm leaving to the US, as you know, to shoot with uh, Juji Mufu again. And actually, when you see this, when this is on my channel, I'll probably be in the US. Uh, and uh, I think we're gonna do some Ninja Warrior stuff and we're gonna do some arm wrestling. Uh, I don't know, I've tried arm, arm wrestling before and I'm not very good at it. So we'll see how that goes. People tell me it's like a lot about technique, but it doesn't seem like that. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think. I think we're just gonna end uh, this vlog. And also, I want to say something. Um, if you wanna, if you guys want to see Simon climb in the next video, uh, you should comment below. Um, he's I've not, never climbed before. He's never climbed before. He's not a climber. Um, if you want to see him try to climb for the first time, uh, comment below. <laughs> 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 All right. But um, thank you guys for watching. 
As always, make sure to like and subscribe and uh, we will see you in the next video.